Today I edit an entire wedding in 58 minutes, the night of the wedding. This includes downloading the cards, calling the images through Imagine, editing the images through Imagine, and uploading the final client gallery. But why is it important that we do this so fast? The reason that I like to edit my images quickly at a destination wedding is because of security. I'm not at home, I don't have access to all my servers and my backup system. But now with Imagine, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to call the night of the wedding. So I have final versions of the images before midnight and then I can upload the actual client gallery. But to have final files day of just done makes me just feel a lot calmer. And I can enjoy the rest of the days we're here. We're gonna be on airplanes. There's a lot that can go wrong between here and my backup drives at home. So shout out to Imagine for making this new workflow possible because those final edits are just, they're beautiful. It's so easy. Matches the cameras. I'm shooting Sony, Lindsay's on Canon. The files look great side by side. Now, even when I'm at home, I still like to do this. I either edit my images the night of the wedding if I'm home at a reasonable time or the morning after. I just like to see the final gallery as fast as possible. This releases a lot of anxiety for me for knowing that all the images are there and that everything is accounted for. Plus it allows you to get some images of the couple the day after the wedding, as well as other vendors. I think that this is something that a lot of us as photographers forget. Send images to the other vendors. If it's the day after the wedding, they're receiving images. They're going to be so happy to refer you in the future. Now let's go to the hotel room to edit this wedding with Imagine. Hello there. It's for sure the night of the wedding and I didn't record all of this with no audio. And now I'm doing it again a week later at Imaging USA. I promised you that I edited this entire wedding in 58 minutes and it was glorious. So what I've done, what I do when I come home from a wedding is I throw everything into a Lightroom catalog. I personally make individual catalogs for each of my weddings. That is not the right way or the wrong way. You can, you can make a full catalog for your entire wedding season if you want. Our friend Sam Hurd does this. And within Imagine, it's very easy. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, very easy to quickly sort and find the, the wedding that you want to edit and upload it from your Lightroom catalog. Now, new feature alert, new feature alert, new feature alert. I flagged a few images in here and we're actually going to go through. I'm going to show you this feature prior to showing my entire workflow because I think it's pretty neat. So in Imagine, you can either use your own profile. Mine is a bit of a mess, to be honest, because I use a lot of different presets in a lot of different situations. However, this warm skin tones preset is very nice. We're going to use it and I'm going to go down here to the wedding that we just shot earlier today and I'm going to select the nine images that I've marked to demonstrate this new feature, which is called subject mask. And if you've used a newer version of Lightroom, you know that you can select just the couple or just the bride or the groom or whoever's in the photo and you can do selective edits on them which means that it's going to interpret the scene. It's going to be like, that scene's nice, but the couple's being hit by like, if they're standing in grass, maybe they're being illuminated a little bit too much by the grass and it's going to slide in a little magenta or it's going to expose them to balance out with the background a little bit better. So what you do is you hit the upload button. It uploads the smaller, it doesn't do the full, we'll talk more about this in the full workflow, but it doesn't do the full raw file. So it's really quick. It will edit. And then when they're ready, you click download to review. And when you come over here, you'll see this image looks nice, this is from the rehearsal dinner. But you come over here and see what it did. It created the mask of the couple. And when you click on the mask, you can see what it's done. So it's increased the exposure a little bit. It's done some, some the whites came up a little bit. But overall, it was a pretty nice picture, so it didn't have to do a whole lot. Good lighting. So that is a new feature, that will be out soon. But now, I'll turn this light on. And we'll get to my full after wedding workflow, for sure, the night of the wedding. Beta right now is culling. I'm going to show this to you. You might not have access to this depending on when you're watching this video, but it is coming, I promise you. You come over here, select your recent catalog, and for this, I will be selecting all of the images. So here you see the numbers. This is from the rehearsal dinner. This is from the wedding day. I'm going to edit them all as one. Give it a name. Come over here and next. You get your stars. You can either do stars or colors depending on your preference. I like stars. And then grouping options just for, uh, I guess, similarity parameters. I'm going to leave it on moderate for this demonstration, and then you click add. Then it goes through, it uploads all of these smaller DNG files, so you'll notice that you're not sending, if you shot 75 gigabytes of images on the wedding day, you're not uploading all of that, you're uploading the smaller DNG files, so it's very, very quick. Here we are, call, review. Let's download to review. And as you can see, this is how fast it downloads. So it's not downloading the DNG or the raw files again, it's just downloading the uh, XMP file, which kind of goes on top and um, gives it either the star rating or eventually, in this demo, the edits. It's review in Lightroom. 
Also, if you're a Capture One user, it is in development. All right, over here in library mode, you see all the star ratings on here. The colors, don't worry about the colors. They're for an upcoming YouTube behind the scenes video. You can sort, filter down here. I'm going to include anything that is a four or higher. It's selected 1749 photographs. You can go stricter if you want it to be stricter. This is also from both the rehearsal dinner as well as the reception. I feel like that's a reasonable number. Now I can refine from a much smaller group. Uh, I like this workflow. I personally actually leave it on a looser grouping so it actually gives me more images as, as selects. And I go through quickly and just select the ones I want and the ones that I don't want. And once you're happy with the cull, the nice thing is that now all those images, imagine already has them. Which means when you send for edit, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna pick anything if you want the four and five stars. There you go. There's that number we just saw in Lightroom. And one thing to shout out here, and maybe an entire reason to use Imagine, is actually the straightening tool. Uh, if you follow the channel, you know that I shoot all of my family photos on like the stupidest tiny angle, and it's really annoying to correct. I will do it. I shoot a lot in front of fireplaces where it actually has to be uh, exactly straight, otherwise the photos look weird. And this will just do all of that for you. It'll see if it sees a building or a line that it knows is gonna be a straight line. It knows how to interpret that and straighten the image accordingly. That is almost a reason alone to use this. It makes your compositions just feel a lot better overall and a lot more professional. Let's add. And as you see, since Imagine already has all the files, you just click go and it goes. And yesterday at my wedding, certainly not at Imaging USA, uh, Scott told me that it does 1,500 images in 10 minutes. So if you have a 1,500 image wedding, it will do that entire wedding in 10 minutes. So we have a little bit above that. And honestly, it'll probably still do it in 10 minutes. So now, you have to come up with something to do for 10 minutes. And since we're in Mexico and it's nighttime, there's nothing to do. So and here we go. The edit is now complete. We will download to review. All right, here we are in Lightroom with our edits downloaded. And as you can see, the before and after. I've also gone through and I've made my selects for the YouTube video. So it's a smaller gallery set than all of the images. But I feel like it can give you better taste that way. Here we go. Before, after, the before, the after, quite different, quite a lot better. And it's nice that you can just let it do all of this and it will get you pretty much all the way there to a final edit, even the ones that we really didn't try too hard in camera, such as these ones, look darn nice. Here's the original, should have switched that white balance, shoot it right in camera, we didn't. But imagine, fixed it. So at this point, I'll just go through in Lightroom and anything that I don't want, I'll just mark with a star rating that gets it out of this filter range and it'll disappear. This one though, it's pretty nice. So as you can see across a wide variety of different images throughout a wedding day, it makes them nice and cohesive and everything feels really good together. It also eliminates the human element of that if you're editing here in the nighttime, you're gonna edit a little bit differently than if we were to open all the windows here. I mean, it's nighttime in Mexico. Uh, it's nighttime for sure. But if we were to open these windows, uh, there would be a lot of natural light that would come in. And it would definitely change the way that I would edit. That my monitor might get a little bit brighter and I might change things up a little bit. When you're using Imagine, that error is gone. That everything is just nice, cohesive across the board. You might make some adjustments, but honestly, there is nothing that I would do to this image. I'm going to say that that is going to go for 98, maybe even 99% of the images that come out of the system. So that's all from here in Mexico. Thank you for joining us. There is a link down below if you want to get started with Imagine, uh, 1500 free edits. And I would recommend starting with smaller batches. So maybe take 20, 30, 40 images from the wedding day across the entire wedding day. And maybe start with a few different talent profiles and see which ones you connect the best with or that are the closest to your style. And once you see that the system is working for you, at that point, build out your own profile, send in the images and fine tune that over time. And now, you can have an entire wedding gallery done the night of the wedding, which means no anxiety for you. Now, you maybe wait a little bit. Don't just send it to them the next day because they'll be like, you didn't even try on these edits, even though they're really nice. But you can send them the sneak previews the next day. And then you can maybe do a little, little drip. If the, the rehearsal dinner, maybe that, that gets them on Wednesday, Thursday. And maybe the full wedding gallery gets them the next week. And they'll be, they'll be happy people. You're going to be the fastest photographer to ever deliver anything. They're not going to have to hassle you. They're not, you're not going to be the photographer that they talk about that took 17 months to get your images. 
and life is going to be good. So thanks for watching. Link down below. New features will be coming soon. And that's all for today. See you again next time from Mexico. Oh, beautiful Mexico. For sure not a shopping mall in Nashville. There's a waterfall. I love Cabo.